a programming type of question based on strings. Write a Python function to get a single string from two given strings separated by a space and swap the first two characters of each string. The two strings are passed as arguments. So let me explain this using an example. You are provided with the two strings. An example taken, A is pointing to the string A, B, C, D, E, F and B is pointing to the string U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Example. Now, what do we need to do? Write a Python function to get a single string. So, from these two strings, you need to get a single string. And how do you find that single string? From two given strings separated by a space. So, these two strings should be separated by space. And what more? Swap the first two characters of each string. Which means, I need to swap the first two characters of each string. So, U, V should come here and A, V should appear here, A, B. Okay, so which means your new A is, see this U, V should appear here. So, U, V followed by the remaining one, C, D, E, F and your new B is, See, the first two characters of A should appear here. So, A, B followed by the remaining characters. Okay. And what about the resultant string? The resultant string is new A concatenated with a space concatenated with a new B. Okay. I hope the question is clear. Write a Python function to get a single string. So, this is a single string. From two given strings, these are the two given strings, separated by a space, yes, the two strings are separated by a space, in the resultant string, you can see, they are separated by space, and swap the first two characters of each string, okay, it is done, the first two characters of each string swapped, so you can see, U, V, followed by C, D, E, F, that comes here, U, V followed by C, D, E, F and again A, B followed by W, X, Y, Z comes here. A, B followed by W, X, Y, Z. <clears throat> so, I need to calculate the resultant string like this and for this I need to create a function and to that function the two strings must be passed as arguments that is A and B should be passed as arguments. So, how can you calculate this? Let me explain. So, example, your A points to the string A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, forward indexing is there, backward indexing is there. Let me write down. Nothing to explain. You know this. For the first character in forward indexing, the index is 0 because index starts with a 0. Okay. Uh, for the second character, the index is 1 and so on. Now, B points to this string, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, forward indexing and backward indexing. Okay. So, I need to calculate new A. I need to calculate new B. <clears throat> so, I need to write the code for calculating new A and a new B. <clears throat> How do you derive the code? First, new A. <clears throat> so, your new A equals the first two characters of B, you can see, the first two characters of B concatenated with the, the remaining characters of A. What I mean by the remaining characters of A is excluding the first two characters of A. Okay, so how do you get the first two characters of B? So if you want to extract a substring from a string, what is the method? String slicing. <clears throat> you have studied that, isn't it? So, I want to extract this substring from string B, which means I need to use string slicing. So, let me use string slicing. The name of the string variable is B and this is a slicing operator. You know that. 
Now here you need to write the start index. You need to write the stop index. So I need the first two characters of B, which means starting with the index zero, ending with the index one. <coughs> so your start index must be zero. <coughs> Now you know that if I don't write the first index by default, it is zero. <coughs> So I am not writing the first index, so that by default it will be zero. Or if you want, you can write zero here. Either way. Anyway, I am leaving this blank. And what about the second index? The first two characters, which means the second index should be one. So if you want to get one here, what should I write here? Two. Because I told you, uh, the slicing operator returns all the characters from B, starting with the index zero and ending with the index two minus one, one, ending with the index one. So you get zero and one. <coughs> so this will give you U V. That should be concatenated with the the remaining characters of A. <coughs> you see. The remaining characters of A. So what I mean by remaining characters is excluding the first two characters of A. So how do I get the remaining characters? In order to extract a substring from a string, what is the method? String slicing. So I am going to perform string slicing on A. <coughs> so I can write A. Followed by the slicing operator. Now I need to decide on the <coughs> start index and the stop index. So the remaining characters of A, which means it should start with index two because excluding the first two characters. So the starting index is two. So here you can write two. <coughs> and all the remaining ones. Okay, so if I don't write the second index, I told you by default it is the upper bound. <coughs> so here you get starting with index two, which means starting with this character, all the remaining characters because I did not write the second index. So here you got U V concatenated with the the remaining characters C D E F. So you got new A, which is U V concatenated with the C D E F. Similarly, I need to calculate new B. Let me write the code for that. New B equals A B. What is A B? The first two characters of A. So how do you extract a substring from a string? You need to perform string slicing. And let me perform string slicing on variable string variable A. So the variable name is made use of followed by slicing operator. Now I need to decide on the first index and the second index. Okay, let me decide on that. So what is the first index? Starting with the index zero, the first two characters. So if I don't write the first index by default, it is zero. So either you can write zero here. Or you can leave this empty. Both are correct. And what about the second index? I need only the first two characters of A. Just see, only the first two characters. So zero and one. So in order to get zero and one, the second index should be two. What's the reason? Because if I write two here, the slicing operator returns a substring starting with the index two, index zero, and ending with the index two minus one one. So you get A and B. So A and B should be concatenated with the the remaining characters of B. What I mean by remaining characters of B is excluding the first two characters of B. So how do you get a substring from a string? Perform string slicing on B. So I wrote the variable name B. I wrote the slicing operator. Now how do you decide on the start index and the stop index? Remaining characters of B. So you should start with index two. Certainly you can write two here. And if I don't write the second index, by default it is the upper index. So starting with index two, I get all the remaining characters. So here I got A B, A B, and that is concatenated with the 
the remaining characters of b so w x y z so i got new b so this is the code and what about the resultant string the resultant string is new a concatenated with a space concatenated with a new b so this is your resultant string okay so only three lines are there one two three so this is how you derive the code for uh, getting the result now i need to write a function for that okay so th these statements should be inside a function how do you create a function use the keyword def followed by some suitable name for the function in the question paper no particular name is mentioned you can see if you read the question write a python function so a particular name is not mentioned which means you can give any suitable name followed by the function symbol and function header should end with a colon the syntax is very important now the two strings a and b should be passed as arguments how did you understand read the question you can see the two strings are passed as arguments so a and b should be passed as arguments which means they will be read in the main function so that when you call this function it will be passed as an argument okay so here you need to pass a and b as arguments a comma b now we have derived the code you just write the code here it is already explained now the resultant string will be displayed in the main function why a function should perform only one task if you write a function to swap two strings only swapping should be performed result must be displayed somewhere else somewhere else means preferably in the main function so i want the result to be available in the main function how do you do that you return the answer okay if you want you can print r here it's a bad programming style it's better to display the answer in the main function so this is how you derive the function for swapping two strings okay now you can write a complete program based on the function that you have created